Hello everyone, I'm Jay Coding and I'm starting a new series apart from my AP Computer Science series called the Java Basics series. I don't expect this series to have that many episodes. Uh, I'll just be showing you guys the basics of Java, uh, the syntax and all of that. So uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. So Java is a way for you to store information and to give yourself a different way of of looking at just logic in general so this is how Java works there is keywords like it says right here this keyword is public and I'll explain all of that in a second there there are statements where uh, in these statements you can print something out you can print out a variable um, you can pretty much do almost anything. Uh, there is a method, so in this method, I think this is actually a great analogy here, a method can be best compared to a paragraph. A method contains all of the necessary information, all of the most critical information of a code. So, as you can see here, they've declared variables, and I'll explain what variables are and everything in a second. Uh, if this video gets too long, I'll probably split it into two videos, but we'll see how this goes. And as you can see over here, there is a class. A class is like the outermost shell. <clears throat> so let me show you over here. The way a program is split, <clears throat> it's split up into, let's say, uh, containers, right? And each container is opened with an open curly brace right here and it's closed with a closing curly brace. Now, first you have to start off with the largest container. Now, the largest container here is called the class. Now, the class, this is what initiates the class. Now, let me explain word by word what this is. Public, like I explained in my computer AP Computer Science video, public means uh, I can pretty much access this class from a different file. And what a class is, it's pretty much just it's, it's just your file. The name of my file, I called it sin, just short for short for syntax. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, it's proper to name your files in an uppercase with an uppercase. So now down to the method. This is what is known as a method. And at the end of the method, there must be parentheses. And the parentheses must contain something, whether it's an integer or uh, you're trying to make uh, string arguments over here. So, like I said, public allows this method to be accessed by other classes. So, basically, what static means is that this method is going to contain objects and variables and everything. So, you cannot create a method without having static in it. Now, void. If I ever write the word void when I'm making a method, that means I cannot have a return. I cannot return anything. Now, I'll probably get to returning in some other episodes, but just for right now, know that if it says void, that means you cannot return. Now, main is what I called this method. Main, it's easy to understand. It's a main method. This is where all the main stuff goes down. So yeah, I make arguments, uh, and I can use strings in this method, uh, and as well as strings, I can also use integers. Now, what an integer is, it stores a number value. However, an integer cannot contain decimals. It only has to be solid numbers. So like you see, if I add a decimal, I get an error right here. See? Now, if I wanted to do a decimal, I'll just do that in a second. I would make something called a double. Uh, we'll just call this double C. So after you initiate what type of variable it is, you always have to name the variable. Java has to know what you are going to uh, thereon refer to each variable as. So this double, because I wrote double here, because I wrote double here, I am able to use decimals. So I have two integers and one double. 
And now let's move on to the strings. Strings just allow you to type any words, anything you want, any sentences. You can literally type whatever in a string. Now, as you know, I obviously have to name a string. So I named this string S and I named this string V. Uh, and in this I just said hello world and this one I just said welcome. Now, over here, this is where all the magic happens. This is where you actually see how your code went, if it works, and what it looks like. So now I'm calling the system and I want an output. So over here, these are inputs and I want to turn those inputs into outputs and I'm going to print a line. LN is line and I'm going to print A. Now as you can see A is 5. Uh, and I did the same thing but with some other uh, variables. So one other thing I wanted to show you was a shortcut for typing this because sometimes it just gets annoying typing system.out.println just click control space simultaneously and it finishes it for you so now I want to print C if I did everything right it should print out 5 6 hello world welcome 7.6 and this is a, some preloaded answers if you guys uh Want to know this is my name, Jamil Abid? Okay. So, I just printed this, and this is what came as an output. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I explained everything relatively well. Usually, when you start moving on in Java, the more basic things start to become harder to explain because, in my mind, I understand everything. But, it's, it just becomes harder and harder to portray, but I feel like I did a relatively good job. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.